I'm very proud to be a oral and maxillofacial surgeon and also a craniofacial surgeon because it is one of the most exciting specialties which combines science, engineering and art and architecture. The whole of the facial skeleton because it means so much to people. Our personality is so much integrated in how the face looks. That's why restoring the face and restoring oral function and in cases where there is also a problem that is associated with the cranium, correcting the cranium also, incorporates one of the most exciting ways in which we can bring together a number of expertise fields from 3D printing to titanium constructs to simple dental implants. So I think this is one of the most exciting specialty to be involved in. And I think it's a great privilege. Even today, we had two patients, a child who had a very small mandible with a tracheostomy soon after birth because she could not breathe because of severe Pierre-Robin syndrome. At the age of four months, we have done distraction and the parents first time heard their baby cry and the amount of joy they had and they, they, when they came to thank us. And another was a patient who had severe sleep apnea. And today I couldn't recognize him when he walked through my office because he was a completely changed person. We underestimate very often, unless we develop a small blemish on the face, how much the facial appearance impacts. But it is such a specialized structure. The amount of finesse and the amount of detail and the amount of combined technology and surgical expertise that is needed to be brought in is mind-boggling. So I congratulate all the oral and maxillofacial surgeons and the craniofacial surgeons on this very auspicious day. And I can truly say that it is a privilege that God has given me to be a, a craniofacial surgeon. Thank you.